morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching us across the globe. Also, depending on what time you get to watch this video. Notification gang, thank you so much for being here. You guys are adorable and we love you. If you have not subscribed to my channel by Nana Witi, I don't know what you're waiting for. Please subscribe right now. Now, today, today is that day. We're talking about PCOS and what is this monster? We will dive right into it in a bit but first let me just remind you that this monster was first detected in 1935 and one in every six women of reproductive age are suffering from PCOS. PCOS means polycystic ovary syndrome and I will let my guests uh, nurse take it on head on so right now first let me welcome our guest on the set her name is joyce minor she's a vlogger content creator we host the show chat sport with her she's one of one third oh we are now two thirds okay, of the show that. right here so let me just welcome you joyce thank you thank you so much for having me this is so nice yeah thank you for coming of and course. honoring the invite anytime i am now today we have a guest nurse because our clinician is not feeling very well and we wish her very 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 quick recovery now this man by the way helped deliver my child iroma like i was in the delivery room and he was there he's the first man i met and as soon as i walked in uh he said we have to do a vaginal exam and the first thing i did was look at his hands <laughs> women you know you know what happens at vaginal examination test you know what happens and that's how i first met him he's a midwife a community health worker and He's a nurse. Let's welcome Duncan Okot. Thank you very much. So I'm Duncan Okot, a midwife, a community health worker, and a nurse. What is the difference though between community health worker and a nurse? So a community health worker, I'm sure most of you know about public health. So community health worker is a branch of public health. Mm -hmm. So a community health worker is a, is a medical personnel who links the community and the hospital. So there, there come a time, such a time where, where we have got an epidemic such as Corona. So the community outside there doesn't know anything concerning the disease. So the work of a community health worker is to educate the public, more so a community regarding a particular pattern or a particular disease. So putting more knowledge, more information about the disease to the community on the ground. Wow, does that entail also that like when you're talking about F FGM yes. as well? So are you basically advocating against to them? Are you talking to the society about the, the process and why you shouldn't be doing it? Or do you just tell them, don't do it? Mm -hmm. No. So you see, like where I am in Kajiado, yeah. FGM is practiced. Uh, inside the community, so they have been doing it from from memorial. So what you are going to do, since they have been practicing it, so you go there uh, to educate them about the effects or more so on the bad side of this effect of FGM. So you teach the community, don't that, you can't just go there to the ground and tell them don't do this. So you tell them why, why should you not do this? So you tell them because uh, uh, I link them to the hospital, so on the maternal side to be specific. So during the delivery, so as this woman goes into normal delivery, the 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 part that has undergone uh, mutilation, mutilation, so as it heals, it leaves a scar. So during delivery, you might end up getting some serious uh, perennial tears yeah. and leading to more or less fistula. Jesus. Whoa, th thank you for that. Please let's not scare Joyce the more because hey, <laughs> it's already, hey, it's already you, sketchy. Man. Yeah, the whole giving birth thing. Wow, and then oh, and then you're adding oh. <laughs> salt to injury. <sighs> but just why I called you here is because you have a story yes. and it, it links with what we are talking about today. Mm -hmm. Just basically 
you you too you can tell us how you first discovered that or shortly before you discovered you you had PCOS what happened um in hindsight it started like immediately after i had my period i don't know if 14 is 14 late or is that a normal time i was 14 yeah okay first. so i remember i don't actually i have not even turned 14 i must have been around 13 and i was at swimming gala and i remember like feeling a lot of like pain in my stomach and i'm like maybe it's just butterflies because you know i was always like good at swimming but i always had that you know there's those butterflies before i swam and so i just ignored it and i saw my races and i won my medals and when i was going to change is when i realized oh wow like i'm bleeding mm -hmm. so i put on a pad it was a bit painful the first uh, few days and my period long story short my period never showed up until i was in form one same thing happened it comes with a lot of pain uh, a lot of bleeding and then it doesn't show up for a while but i was not connecting the dots by then mm -hmm. same thing in form two all the way till high school all the way till Maybe I was around 22 or 23 and I told my mom about it and she was like, hey, go, go get checked. Yeah. You find out what's going on. So when I went to the first doctor, he didn't tell me what was wrong. He just put me on um, birth control. Yeah. So I took the birth control and my periods went back to normal. But I still had um, patches of when it would take maybe like, because by, by the time I was at this point, see, you're 14. No, no, no. I was like 22. Okay. Um, after high school. All right. So at this point, um, now when I went to see the doctor, it had been like nine months before I had my... Uh, my period. So of course, first thing I'm like, wow, I'm pregnant. I took like two pregnancy tests. <laughs> so obviously, I wasn't pregnant. Um, yeah. So he put me on birth control for like two months. They came back, but I still had like the periods of like maybe two months I don't get, three months I don't get, and then beginning of 2020, same thing happened. I didn't have it for like five months. Yeah. So this time when I went to the doctor, he actually informed me what it was. And he put me on uh, hormonal in, uh, hormonal balance pills yeah. and birth control pills. Wow. Yeah, that's when I found out. All those years later, he's not actually told me what was going on. You, you're just getting medication yeah, for just something getting medication. Yeah, I was just for put on birth control. No, I, put, I was just put on birth control. Apparently, it helps regulate your period. Oh, wow. Yeah. Dr. Haji, yes. I'm to talk about this one because there are people who experience uh easy like prolonged periods or they don't come they're not regular especially the first period because i remember when i was 14 i had my period and then i stayed for like eight months but i didn't know it could actually be a sign of pcos not like i have it i don't but even you're in a camouflage as unaza tuambia ninini pcos exactly ninini so to start with the pcos yeah. polycystic ovarian syndrome yeah. So it is a syndrome. And one thing concerning a syndrome, a syndrome has got multiple features. So what I'm trying to say, if I narrow down, if I narrow down on this PCOS, yeah. mm -hmm. you have got uh, the uterus with you, and then now you have got the fallopian tube and the ovaries situated on the edge of the fallopian tube. Yes. So the ovaries, after ovulation, the eggs are released from the ovary, they travel to the fallopian tube, to the uterus, and then downwards. Yeah. So now, polycystic, it is a, a cyst. A cyst, it is a capsule. A, it is a capsule, it can be filled with a fluid or mm -hmm. not. Most, most of the time it is filled with a, a fluid. So a fluid cavity and a capsule on the ovary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, ovary is the point. Now, the cyst has formed with a capsule on the cyst. Mm -hmm. Now, the release of this egg from the ovary to the fallopian tube down to the uterus has been interfered with mm -hmm. this capsule. Mm -hmm. So, this girl, because this disease is for the women, mm -hmm. more so the girls, mm -hmm. it's not for men, so men don't count yourself. <laughs> <laughs> So, it affects the women. Now, this, this lady will come with complaints about pain, mm -hmm. more so on the lower abdominal region, yeah. most likely, either on the left, yeah. one on the right, because you have got two ovaries, yeah. one on the right, mm -hmm. the other on the left. So, if it is the left that has been affected, so it means this pain will be generally or be more on the left side. Of the lower abdominal region mm -hmm. so and it can go further and be bilateral but that bilateral meaning it can affect both the left and, and the, the right okay now menstrual flow menstrual cycle has been interfered with 
our lady here has presented with pain. Mm. But remember, that region is either on the left or on the right. We have got other organs that are on that, on those places. Yeah. So if she comes with pain, and then there is that organ, most likely appendicitis from the appendix, mm. so it can be confused with appendicitis. Mm. So it can confuse your, your pain mm -hmm. from your, the ovary point mm -hmm. and the appendix. So you have to do a scan, of, that is a pelvic scan, mm -hmm. for it to show us the clear picture which organ is affected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and if it has been identified and diagnosed with a scan, it is the ovary. Yeah. And then features suggestive of polycystic ovarian syndrome as yeah. we made. Mm -hmm. Now, you narrow down now to a gynecologist. Yes. So a gynecologist will we'll check on mostly it is the hormonal part that is affected that leads to this syndrome. Mm -hmm. So part of treatment, I'm a majorly, the treatment is about hormonal balancing. So I've got a hormonal imbalance. Yeah. So hormonal balancing is required. And that's why some bad control pills were prescribed for you. But but I can imagine giving a twelve year old that is of course in a reproductive age because they've started their menses. Yes. A 12 year old giving them family planning pills, how do they take those medications, especially probably the embodying school? Anakula, watu anakunyo dawa, watu anawangalia, kumbe, you're sexually active. Is there no other way of treating? So, first and foremost, a 12 year old is under the care of the parent. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the treatment will be inclusive, including the parents. And if this girl is going to school as we expect, then it is good or important for us to involve the teacher. Mm -hmm. So the teacher can get involved in order, ah. since the teacher at school is the parent of this girl mm -hmm. at school. Yes. So involve the teacher and involve the the parent. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if it is during the holidays, now you see you have to narrow yeah. down to the parent. Yes. So you, you you make the parent understand the condition of this of the of, of a girl mm -hmm. and what the girl is going about. And then the medication prescribed is not for family planning. We're not doing family planning for this kid or for this girl to be specific. Mm -hmm. We are doing it in order to manage or to treat the condition and the suffering that this girl is undergoing. Yeah. Okay. So, and how come, sorry, yeah. can I ask, how yes. come it's taking so long for gynecologists here to recognize PCOS? Because I also have a friend who found out last year and she's like 26. Yeah. You know, she's had the same problem and now is when she's finding out. So, we normally say it is good for you to go for a medical checkup. Mm -hmm. So it did not necessarily means that when you are sick is where you go to seek medical yeah. attention. But the first, the so first doctor went. didn't tell me, he just gave me pills. Okay, <laughs> didn't I'm explain didn't what explain it was. Anything? I'm sorry for that. Yeah. 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 But those scenarios, mm -hmm. uh, they are minimal. Mm -hmm. So you are one in about 10 to experience the same. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. But, but Joyce, what is that? What is that a sign and symptom that came to you and you were like, okay, be sasa, acha tu niende hosi? You know, I actually thought painful cramps were normal. normal. Yeah. So that never... But my mom used to tell me, ah, your, your period, like Masana. your cramps, it's a bit much, you should go get checked. I'm like, ah, I'm fine, I'll take it like a woman, this is what we go through. Yeah. But that missing my period for that long is what um made me go and get checked. I'm like, ah, what the world is going on? Yeah. Yeah. You can't miss your period for like almost a year and you are full grown adult. Because by the time you're 22, 23, yeah, you already know your cycle, it should be normal. Yeah. So when it took too long for it to come about, obviously, like I said, the first thing was pregnancy. I'm like, wow, I am pregnant and my mother is going to kill me, but it's fine. Let me yeah. find out if maybe it's pregnancy, but yeah. I wasn't. Uh, Dr. Ray, so I checked online and they said PCOS is one of the most leading causes of infertility. Yeah. Uh, Joyce, mm -hmm. I, do you? get scared about you know being fertile um yeah sometimes especially when i think you know i'm always like yo yoing between yeah i'm ready for kids. <laughs> no i'm not ready for kids yeah but definitely that's a concern for me and i think back and i'm like did i get lucky or was i just infertile because you know there are some situations yeah. where i could have definitely gotten pregnant 
but I didn't and I'm like okay so I was definitely in fact I'm not lucky but fortunately it's this medication oh my but I hate that medication oh my god hormonal balance medication yeah is the worst thing you will ever go through because for me it was combined with the birth control but he told me the birth control was very low yeah. in hormonal those hormonal imbalance things but it was so bad I was I had water retention I had just furad like I wasn't fat I had just furad yeah. because apparently there's something about water retention it's such a bad process I actually didn't even finish the medicine I was supposed to take it for two months I took mm -hmm. it for like one maybe six weeks and I was done with it but knowing that that might be what I have to go through yeah to get pregnant because after that until now my periods are very normal yeah. very regular mm -hmm. maybe I might miss by two days five days yeah but knowing that there's that solution for me to get to having a child, it's yeah. fine, I'll go through it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Of course. Yes. You know, when you Google, you can Google such kitu, and then unanza kuona signs and symptoms, and yeah, una relate nazo. Yes. It's very easy to say, eh, mini kona PCOS. So maybe you can tell our audience the signs and symptoms of uh, PCOS. So first, you touched about infertility. Yes. So there are different levels of infertility. Of course, the primary infertility. So for primary infertility, yeah. this lady has never conceived before, and now she's planning. She's planning to con conceive. Yeah. And despite her having unprotected sex for a given time, with an aim of having to conceive, yeah. it has failed. So that is primary infertility. Yeah. So you have never conceived before. So there is a secondary infertility whereby you had conceived before, you have given birth, but now you want to get the number two, three, four, or the next kid, but you are unable to get. But uh -huh. before you had one. Uh -huh. So that is secondary, secondary infertility. So the PC, PCOS uh, can, can interfere with fertility and then you become infertile. But it depends at what level. So if it is before you conceive, you have never conceived before, that will be primary infertility. Mm -hmm. So now, we administer hormonal pills for the hormonal balance in order for yes. your body to conceive once more. Mm -hmm. And most likely it will, it will affect most of us. Yes. It is cramps or mm -hmm. lower abdominal pains. Yeah. So for this pain, so the difference between this and another condition called ectopic pregnancy mm -hmm. is that for ectopic pregnancy, this pain will increase as the eggs mature. So, and, and sometimes if it ruptures, then you can be able to, to perceive bleeding per mm -hmm. vaginally. Yeah. So for, for this one, there is not that bleeding per vaginally. Mm -hmm. Then number two, if you go and conduct a pregnancy test, it is more likely to be negative. But for a topic one, it is going to be positive. positive. Mm. So, and then the other thing, you may you might experience some. Um, you are generally body malaise. Yani you are not yourself. You are not the one that oh. you used to be. Mm -hmm. So there is some disturbance with your normal body body makeup. Mm -hmm. So you are going to experience that your body is not the real person that you used to be. So the other thing, I've talked. We have talked about pain. We have talked about. Uh, uh, general body malaise yeah. or your body is not the way that you, it used to be yeah. and the other thing is uh, infertility so it can cause inf so infertility you can only diagnose it uh, at a point that you want to conceive but you are unable to conceive yeah. so for uh, a young child like 12 years old mm -hmm. you cannot go you're about not uh, yeah, yeah. you're not going to conceive so for that an elderly lady that's mm -hmm. where you can know about infertility yeah so, but what about herbal treatments because i've been yeah. i've been doing some herbal um treatments you know like um vagina steaming some herbs and yes. i feel like it's kind of health i didn't have to get on a medication again so for herbal medicine i've never tried before and it is not practiced in our facility or in any hospital so one thing about the herbal medication is that you don't know most of the times you don't know the concentration of what you are taking yeah. so you see like a prescription from the hospital it is uh, you can always tell the concentration of what you are giving mm -hmm. and the content yeah but not unless you come clear and tell us the kind of herbal med medicine that was prescribed for you right i mean there's someone who tells you what to do and yeah. how many times to do it and yes. 
how many times you want to do it. Like it's very diagnosed. Like she tells me to steam at least twice a month and you have a regular period. And I'm only for like three months. And it means working regular. Yeah. Or she tells you take this and this tea. It has ginger and what, what, what. Take it uh, five days before your period. And I do that and I have a painless, almost painless period. Yeah. yeah so, 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 doctor, so, is there a cure? So what I can say, like for herbal medicine, yeah. like she has told us, it is about uh, short term. Mm. So it is short uh, time, but you now you have to regularly yeah, do it. Yeah. Yeah. You have to regularly do it, mm-hmm. and it is not like you can tell you do the come again the warm the steaming. The steaming. steaming yeah. Yeah. It is not about uh, she can tell you do either two or three or four or. So it is not something that is specific. Yeah. So it is something that is too general, mm-hmm. and the outcome is short-term oriented. Yeah. But for for when you come to the facility and seek a good medical intervention, it is long-term and mm-hmm. it is more to permanent solution mm-hmm. to your condition. But let's talk about uh, PCOS on level yeah, lifestyle. Is there any lifestyle changes, Joyce, that you had to do? Because I hear you have to lose weight <laughs> so you no, diabetes. I was reading about yeah it. i know there are those especially the i i read about it myself and there was acne and weight gain but i've never had those problems yeah. like, ever yeah. my my biggest problem was honestly just painful cramps i remember even in high school even the matron knew when joy is having a period leave alone don't get out of bed i'd yeah. take my bascopan whatever get my hot water bottle the whole entire day was painful yeah. and uncomfortable yeah so definitely you can imagine now later in life when i've made plans for something and i'm on day one of yeah. the period now i have to start cancelling meetings be like i can't make it yeah so yeah that was a bit of an inconvenience you know yeah. dr Ari, yes to you to <laughs> now uh, that kind of uh, medication or the kind of treatment that yeah. is going to be prescribed it is a uh, you're going to take it for a for a longer duration. Mm-hmm. So you're going to take it for a, for not not week not days mm-hmm. not weeks. Mm-hmm. It can go up to months. But what does PCOS have to do with uh, weight and diabetes? Because I could see that when I was researching. Well, of course, I'm very green and acne. Why does it have to do with all that? This one is an enemy. So you see, uh, diabetes and uh, obesity and acne. Yeah. So are they attached to a hormone? Most of the acne is attached to a hormone. Oh, okay. So and this condition that you are undergoing, it is more hormonal. Mm-hmm. So they go hand in hand. Mm-hmm. So of course there's that uh, having excess yeah. that uh, the male hormone in excess, the androgen yes. able to have the actually it's not just testosterone. Was androgen. So male hormone and, and then you're like Hi, I'm like, <laughs> I knew that makes sense. I was a tomboy. Like <laughs> <laughs> In effect, but it's never yeah. It doesn't affect that much, okay, yeah. but you see, each and every body has got uh, different side effects when you take a certain drug. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it is, does not cut across each and every individual. That yeah. if you take a Panadol or any other kind of medication, mm-hmm. that you're going to experience the side effects as your friend mm-hmm. or any other person. Yeah. So it is going to be, it doesn't cut across. Okay. So this, but yeah. there is likelihood mm-hmm. for you to experience mm-hmm. of the male hormones. Yeah, okay. yeah. but now just through facial hair or through behaviors, I'm still, I'm still like <laughs> convinced. Behaviors, so, no, no, so, so you fear growing beards or what no, no, no. I like uh, it does have like what tomboyish no, tendencies. No, it doesn't. Okay. It doesn't have to. It doesn't have okay. to experience for you to experience all that. But yeah. that's what yeah. makes some women grow. Some women who have PCOS grow facial hair. Yes, yes, the androgen. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, is there a cure, like a real cure for PCOS, Doctor? There is no uh, a real cure, mm-hmm. but research is still ongoing. But but we just hope for the for the best. Yeah. In the meantime, mm-hmm. about pain and each and everything can be catered for with medication, mm-hmm. and but most of the treatment and medication is long term. So, we're going to take this drug or medication for. Mm-hmm. Uh, given a couple of weeks. So on a scale of okay. 1 to 10, yes. after I start the hormonal <laughs> balance over again, yes. how hard will it be for me to get pregnant? Yeah. On a scale of 1 to 10, mm-hmm. I give you around 6. Really? That's, that's about average. average. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So just because you have PCOS does not 
mean that you will be completely infertile. No. All right. Mm -hmm. So it there is likelihood more so if it is a, it has, if it has lead to secondary infertility mm -hmm. and you had conceived before. Mm -hmm. So there is a light at the end of the tunnel. So mm -hmm. you are going to conceive. Amen. Awesome. Amen. Yeah. Thank you for sharing all of this, you guys. Duncan, I know you felt a little scared, but you so much a lot to tell people. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been in front of cameras before? No, this is my first time. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. okay. Is it, this is the best scary? Experience. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. From the beginning, but when, uh, towards the end, I was a bit comfortable. Yeah. yeah. You're definitely coming uh, again, right? Yes. You, you come back? I all right, guys, thank you so much, Jess. Yes. Okay, thank you for being vulnerable and sharing your story. Man. You're welcome. Now that I know you can get pregnant, find me a man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, 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 yeah, yeah, in, well, I'll, I'll keep mentioning it because you know you can manifest your, the, the things you want in your life. So. Yeah, we need to find you a man. Yeah. So, can we, uh, Tinder? <laughs> no. Tinder men, no? Mm. Uh, those those other. Well, I'm men? just letting me manifest, okay? okay. Uh, future baby daddy husband. Out in the universe, I am manifesting you. Do me sit down. No jokes, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, and of course, I hope you learned because that's why we aim to do these things. We do this so that you take a lesson or two. As long as you have just taken out something from this discussion, me, I'm good. Imagine. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you guys for coming. The okay. Campus Studios. Thank you so much for this beautiful set. And if you have any product that resonates with what we do as as long as it's of quality it has to be of quality <laughs> so please do comment below any topic that you want us to handle kindly also same comment panel notification gang see you next time you guys i love you